important because you know we often hear about selenium toxicity it's one on all the back i don't know if it's the same in the u.s one on all the back i don't know if it's the same in the u.s but all the back of supplements they are toxic a bit, bit like vitamin a they always have a toxicity load the selenium hi everybody and welcome to the kidney coach youtube channel i am naturopath fiona tune co-founder of kidney coach and kygenesis a range of supplements designed to support those diagnosed with chronic kidney disease and I'm delighted to be joined again today by one of my favorite guests, Lindsay Zerker. Lindsay is one of the head renal dietitians at Kidney Nutritional Institute. She works alongside Jessie Anna, and she is an absolute brainiac in all things hormonal pathways and minerals. Yes. So first off, high level understanding, what is selenium um, as far as, yeah, what is it for people? And then we'll, we'll just dig down from there. Yeah. So selenium is a mineral. And um, most the the form that we most hear about is called selenoproteins. Um, they play a pretty big role in um, antioxidant defense, um, thyroid function, immune function. Um, those are the kind of big pieces that it plays. Um, and it is, yeah, it's not something that we hear a lot about from from food sources or things, I feel like outside of kidney world, we mostly hear about selenium with thyroid yeah. um, and antioxidants. That's pretty much all. So anyone out there thinking about kidney disease and they're like, is selenium important? Because, you know, we often hear about selenium toxicity. It's one on all the back. I don't know if it's the same in the US, but all the back of supplements, they'll always put a toxic, a bit, bit like vitamin A, they always have a toxicity load. The selenium is, and I guess kidney people are always like, well, if it's going to potentially have a toxicity load, is it something I avoid? Is it something I put in? So um, tell me about the link between pros and cons about maybe why we would think of selenium when it comes to chronic kidney disease. So with like most of the nutrient research in kidney disease, it's not like very prolific. Mm. Um, so that makes a lot of the warnings a lot scarier because we don't have heavier, weightier stuff to kind of contradict that. Um, but what the studies have found is that there is definitely a positive correlation or a positive link between people's selenium intake and their kidney health. So for example, people who have increased selenium intake have a reduced risk of a CKD. Like that's not oh. even talking about progression. That's just like development of kidney disease. Now, why is this the case? Like, do they dig into that? Not really, but because selenium is so um, important in helping with um, oxidative stress reduction and stuff like that, um, you know, any opportunities to support those pathways are going to um, probably decrease that risk of any chronic disease probably. Um, but they also found that um, when people supplemented with selenium, that it improved long-term outcomes in, in those with CKD. Um, and even in uh, people who were on dialysis, they found that they had improved um, albumin levels, which is closely tied with inflammation. Um, yeah. And so uh, from those specific perspectives definitely helpful but then also because kidney disease has this weird situation where they they have suppressed immune system sometimes because mm -hmm. of um all the inflammation and stuff going on but then also other inflammatory pathways that are more active so they have some aspects of their immune system that are suppressed and other aspects of their immune system that are psycho and um and so selenium can help with that we know that there's a lot of different nutrients like zinc and vitamin d that help modulate that immune response and selenium can play a role with that as well so i think that's really helpful for people with kidney disease and then because you need selenium to help um with that t4 to t3 conversion of thyroid and there is a really strong link between thyroid and kidney. Like if you have thyroid disease, then that can have a negative impact on your kidneys. If you have kidney disease, that can have a negative impact on your thyroid. So it's really nice to have selenium there to make sure that that's not, you know, adding fuel to the fire. 
Yeah, that makes sense. And I was actually, you beat me too. I was going to say, can you dig into why it's so important in thyroid and link it to kidney disease, which you've just done. So oh, for anyone, yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, there is definitely a correlation between thyroid disease and kidney disease. It's something as clinicians, we often look for um, chicken and egg and which one's going on in which direction. So that's mm-hmm. super interesting. Excellent. Well, if anyone out there is listening to this and they want to work with a very well-versed practitioner in all things functional uh, nutrition, head to www.kidneynutritionalinstitute.org and there you will find um, all things Lindsay. You can uh, connect with her via telehealth um, and anywhere in the world, um, regardless if you're in the US or not. She works with people around the world. If you want to know more about what we do, head to www.kidneycoach.com. Make sure you hit subscribe and like. That way you'll get notified about any new uh, content that we put up. I think next time, Lindsay and I will do a deep dive into iron because it's a big thing in, in chronic kidney disease. So we'll have a chat about that. So um yeah make sure you subscribe and that way you'll know when we put that content up Lindsay. as always it's a pleasure to connect with your beautiful self and uh thank you again for being part of my amazing team that i get to connect with it's um it's it's always great thanks fiona always love being here yeah thanks for being part of our community we look forward to seeing you next time and enjoy the rest of your day bye